way, boys. Well, since we're starting with E3. Well, you want to get all that out of the way? Do you, do you want to? Might take the it won't take the longest. It'll so take yeah. the longest, absolutely. Well, then yeah, let's get it. Get the people what they want. All right, Xbox. Was it really Xbox? What about? We yeah. covered everything else before Xbox. That's right. Yeah, Xbox. Yes, Xbox. The uh, second runner as far <laughs> second place basically. Yeah, as Nintendo of course wants to be big dogs and keep stealing the show as usual. Yeah. Uh, but, I can just name off all the games they announced. And the release dates is confirmed. But are we gonna talk about them a little yeah, bit? Yeah, we can. So yeah, let's just go like one by one, talk about them a little bit and then go forward. First one, Starfield, released eleven dash eleven twenty two. To game coming to Game Pass, exclusive to Xbox. Fuck you, Sony. Uh, well, everything that they were basically showing was exclusive. Yeah. Well, not everything. Yeah, some some things are going to Sony. Well, yeah, but practically well, almost of them everything. are going to Game Pass. Yes, which Sony just cannot compete. The, the Game Pass has become way too much of a uh, value of a competitor. Yeah. Uh, but Starfield, um, honestly, I, I had no idea this was even a thing. It it was basically an announcement. No one knew. No, yeah, nobody knew. I I I feel I get the feeling like there was an older game about it though, unless there wasn't. Yeah, probably. Nowadays everything's copied. I already see. I already started seeing it, it like, or some people are starting seeing it as like the next No Man's Sky, if it is going that kind of direction. Good luck. Uh, uh, not too much on that, so what's next? Stalker 2, Heart of Chernobyl. April 28th is when its release date is. I have seen a little bit of the first Stalker, but it was like a, it's an old, old-ass game. Oh, well, yeah. So, like, I kind of get the concept, but it still didn't really interest me. Yep. I don't know anything or no? Should I just keep going? You can keep going. Um, I, I got to see that one a little bit at work, but I didn't really... Pay much attention to that one. All right. Next up, Back for Blood, October 12th. Oh, yeah. Now, this is a game we cannot wait for. Oh, so Game Pass. Yeah. Don't have to pay a penny. Yeah. This one is definitely most anticipated for Left 4 Dead fans. Even though, like, it's not the the ever mentioned or Left 4 Dead 3 everyone's wanting, it's still from the creators of it. So, I mean, we, we got as close as we got to it. Yeah. Uh, after that, they announced Contraband. Yes, that one I'm also curious, because all they said was like an open-world co-op game, and that's all they said. I'm like, God damn it, I need more. I need more. But it was just a CGI trailer, so what else? Uh, sea of Thieves, a Pirate's Life update. That one this I'd one was like... Unexpected. Unexpected, but also like on the top of the list. For for a lot of people still into that game, yeah, no. Um, I get the feeling like some of this. I get the feeling like some people wish this would happen, but never expected this to happen. Yeah. Because like, come on, like. It already has <laughs> Disney graphics. <laughs> like, how can you have this kind of pirate game and not have the Caribbean franchise? Like, like, come on. Um. Next one, Yakuza Like a Dragon. Next. Uh, Battlefield 2042. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, I can't wait for this one. This one, I feel like we can go for hours. But we really it's, should. I will say this right now. It is the most viewed video on YouTube right now. What I, what I find funny about this is that everyone's like, don't pre-order this game because of it's the previous stuff game. that we've already had. Yeah. And it's just like, well, honestly, a lot of these games I can understand, but like a few of the games that they were recommending that we shouldn't have pre-ordered or anything like that, honestly, got forced to be released because of everybody in the gaming community. Yeah, honestly, I'm okay with pre-ordering this because the way I, the way I look looking at the list, this is probably be, the, okay. This and Scarlet Nexus are probably going to be the only games I'm going to buy because everything else is just going to be on fucking Game Pass. So I'm okay with pre-ordering it. I mean, I can't really say anything about that because uh, Halo Infinite's campaign is paid only. Isn't that... No. Game pa- no, it's not Game Pass? So the multiplayer is. The multiplayer is well, free to play. That doesn't count because it's free for all. 
Yeah. Well, that's technically not on the game. I'm just plan. paying for the campaign. That's all I'm doing. I mean, I, hopefully it's like not like sixty dollars. No, it's getting a discount because Xbox Game Pass ten percent discount. So there, there's that. <laughs> Okay, well, besides those, like, I'm okay with pre-ordering because, I mean, there's really not going to be much purchasing in the first place, so yeah. still value. Yeah. Um, Next is 12 Minutes. I already forgot. What the I forgot was. what it's <laughs> yeah, Oh, I, oh, that was like, um, it, it literally just came to me. Um, you're, like, you have this top view of this couple in the apartment. And, like, you're in this scenario, you're trying to figure out... Oh, what, that weird shit. Yeah, you keep going back in time, you're trying to figure out this mystery that's happening. Yeah. It just came to me. It's just, like, one of those, like, you know, have have they have at it. There you go. Uh, next up is Psychonaut 2. Psycho, What's that one oh, that again? Psychonaut? Yeah. The sequel, yeah. Uh, that, that's, like, the old that old-ass game that came out, like, in, like, the 90s? Something. It's an old game, but yeah. it's getting... Edition. A lot of people are looking for that one. Um, next up, they announced a bunch of Bethesda games out in Game Pass and their DLC, which is Fallout 76, Steel Reigns, Fallout 76, Expeditions, The Pit, and uh, honestly, the rest of them is just their old games that's coming to Game Pass. It's already I'm, out now. I'm surprised 76 is even I, oh, it's on service. <laughs> yeah. Uh, after that is a game called Party Animals. That's the one that's been, like, on a Kickstarter or has already been on PC for a while. Yeah. Um, after that is Hades, released August 13th. Game of the year. Game of the year on Nintendo Switch, so... I was about to say, you making that claim already? It, it be, no, because it was. It was fucking Game of the Year. Yeah. <laughs> for, for On exclusive Nintendo Switch, for the Game of the Year coming to Xbox, yeah, that's, that's pretty big. Mm. After that is Somerville. I don't remember Somerville. I don't, I don't either. <laughs> yeah, so we can skip that. Uh, then they show up Halo Infinite, the campaign preview, and the multiplayer. Which we we can go in hours for that. Uh, Diablo 2 Resurrection. Which that one confuses me because it shouldn't have been Diablo 4, but... <clears throat> Whatever. I think that's just like a remaster of Diablo 2. I think. I, I think that's what they're going for because they haven't really said anything about a Diablo 4. They already announced Diablo 4. It's just yeah, always... it's just development hell. Uh, well, that sounds like a them problem. Uh, next up, a Plague Tale Requiem. No memory because I don't have... I, a lot I, of I games don't have a memory on that one. Next. Uh, Slime Rancher 2. Oh, that weird ass game where you're a farmer for these slimes. Yeah, it was weird. All I could think of was the anime. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a farm me some slime, kill me some slime. After that is Shredders. What? That's that's literally what the title's called, Shredders. Is that is that like the new snowboarding game? Yes. Yeah, that's what that was. That new. Whoever, that one looked pretty good. Uh, wherever likes snowboarding, yeah, there you go. Game. And um, uh, on top of that game, you had a uh, Horizon, F- or Forza Horizon Five. I was gonna say, did you skip that one? That's that's the second to last one they showed. Oh. I have them in the order they did it. I thought it was like at the very beginning. Oh, no. wow, Jesus. Okay. Uh, next up is Atomic Heart. Don't remember it. No. Then there's Replaced, which looked good. It did, cause I don't. Know. I don't remember <laughs> it either. Well, I got to. I watched that one. Because I actually had a chance to actually watch it. Yeah. After that is Grounded, the Stool and Doom update. Which is just an update for Grounded. Yeah. Okay. I didn't play it. Uh, Among Us coming to Xbox. <laughs> I mean, yeah. hey, it's still popular, apparently. Especially with the new 15-player lobbies. Yeah, I'm not really surprised about that since that's going to Sony. Also, uh, next up is The Ascent. I saw that for, like, Pre-order, but I literally already forgot what the hell it was about. Yeah. Uh, Age of Empires 4. Yeah, whatever. Skip. The Outer Worlds 2. Skip. Flight Simulator for Xbox, July 27th. Now, that one I'm interested. Just because it's coming to Xbox, and I'm actually curious, like, uh, looking at uh, spe- uh, specific locations where to fly around or towards. That one's, I'm, I'm a little interested. Then, Forza Horizon 5. And yeah. then 
Redfall. <laughs> and then if you looked at this game, uh, this one's actually going to take place in Mexico. The Forza, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah Forza. Forza. Mexico. What was the last one? Europe? Was it la- London, Europe? Or, or Somewhere around that area, yeah. It's just... Uh, Honestly, I got really bored. Even though I played that for like a good week or so, like I just got bored with that kind of area. Well, it, it wasn't really anything special. It was more trees than anything else. It, it was really more snow and rain that got annoying to me. Oh, uh, you got those... That's why Mexico, stuff. now the Mexican city, or Mexican setting, is now more interesting because of the la- the sand, the fucking volcanoes, the jungle, and all that shit. I was at this point, I didn't see any crashing. I just want to see one wreck. Well, sure that's not really the point of the game, so... <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> well, they, they can occur. That was it for Xbox, the second place winner. Well, you forgot Halo. No, I said Halo. I, yeah. I deleted the list as I went. I said Halo and said... We just didn't the, talk about it. Yeah. We'll talk about that for hours. <laughs> okay, my best. <laughs> you good. And after that was Square Enix. I think I, it was like the Guardians game? That was it? Yeah, I, Guardians of the remember. Galaxy released October 22nd. It looked interesting, but I don't know if I would it get it. It still is, to, in my eyes, a Marvel DLC. Like that it, Marvel game? Yeah, no, I, I, it it looks interesting, especially for if it's only single player focused. But I don't know if I would pay the full price for it. Yeah, then they went on for a while. Final Fantasy one through six remastered that they're doing. Yeah. Uh, then Legends of Mana, June twenty fourth. I don't remember this game. I don't. Then they showed off the Marvel DLC for the, the Marvel Avengers game. Then they w- went on about mobile games. I didn't write that down because who cares about mobile games? Yeah, there's a few, there's but a few. none of us. Yeah, none of us. <laughs> so, says the guy who's obsessed with Dragon Ball Legends. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, that's Dragon Ball. Still uh, a mobile game. Yeah. Life is Strange Remastered. No, wait. Babylon Fail. Sorry, I skipped. Babylon. Babylon? Yeah, Babylon Fall. Yeah. Is it Babylon Rogue? No. No, I just said Babylon Fall. Oh, yeah, Fall. Fall. What the fuck was that about? I don't remember. Uh, Then Life is Strange Remastered, September 30th. I don't need to play the remastered. They look cool, but I don't need to play them. I don't see a difference with the remaster and the original. I really don't, That, but I am going to try out the new one, the True Colors, which is what, what, next one? Uh, Stranger of Paradise. That that was the last thing they showed. They didn't talk about true colors. They didn't really talk too much about it. But it's out there. Like if for whoever whoever is watching that uh, franchise, you know about the true colors and the new character, which it looks. What was the last one? Stranger of Paradise. Uh-huh. Uh huh. I don't remember it. Like I said, most of these games look like indie games to me. And I was not really that interested in the indie games. Yeah, I don't. Uh, What's next? The PC showcase and Razer, but really you could skip Razer because they went an hour talking about a laptop and no games. PC, they just went on about games that's coming to PC, which is already out like two or three years ago. Okay, well, we can skip on that. Then there's the future game show. Honestly, I only remember that that VR tour they went through just to talk about all these indie games. Yeah. That's the only thing I remember. Um... And then some games that were already fucking mentioned before. There, there was one game you and me were laughing our asses about, Lake, the mailman game. <laughs> the, the, tr- the, true ma- the true mailman simulator. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm just going to go down this list fast, honestly, because like, a lot of these games are just indie stuff or stuff for VR. So there's <clears throat> A Tale of Paper, Get Packed, Gatewalkers, Game Deck, Backbone, Trifox, Timberborn, Riftbreaker, East Forks Boxing Club, Hell Let Loose, Red Solus 2, Lake, Eldest Souls, Enlist, Severed Steel, 8 any games I didn't get. I don't know why I put that down. Um, Sonic Colors Ultimate, Starmancer, K-Way, Death Run TV, Hollow <laughs> Hollow Butt, Happy Game, Minute of Island, Oil, Ollie Ollie World, Tales of Iron... Lust from Beyond, Fire Commander, Winter Soldiers, Simulator, Bactor, Lost Haven, Project Ferocious, Warsi, Conway of Disappearance of Dilala, and Immortality. Anything else? No, that's literally everything. Except for the indie games, but 
that's because they went like boom, 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 and I was not able to fucking catch it. That's a lot. Oh, let's move to Nintendo real quick. Uh, I didn't write anything down for Nintendo. I was kind of in awe with their uh, show. <laughs> you didn't write <laughs> down any of Nintendo? The only thing oh I got to God. see about the Nintendo was the uh, uh, Tekken fighter that they're going to bring into Smash. Yeah. That was it. I cannot believe this. All right. I there, can't. What was before, there was something before Nintendo, wasn't there? Bethesda. What do you mean Bethesda? Bethesda was, was with Xbox. No. What do you mean no? Bethesda was their own show. Oh, they did? Yeah. What the fuck did they talk about? That's why I get... Bethesda only talk about that, um... That, um... That shitty game. The... The decision-making military one. I... The, the Ashes one? I don't even fucking remember. Yeah, they did that interview. And they got so much shit for it. They did not not show off any game. Okay, well, then Nintendo... Nintendo went... This is the one we went big. Um, yes, what Lionel mentioned... For Smash Ultimate, they're bringing uh, Kasuya from Tekken into the game, and people went shit balls crazy. And we have Metroid Dread, which is uh, finally a return to the 2D side scroller. That I think they mentioned like they haven't done one in like nine or ten years for the Metroid franchise, but they are still doing Metroid Prime Four. Like they're still in the works, so they're just throwing in this one just so they can have your little advertiser. Mm-hmm. And they mentioned um, Shin, Mi- Shin Megami Tensei. Did you even see that one? No. It was, that was one, this one looked. This one was the one where you like you can fight demons, fuse demons, hell, even talk to demons. It's all about demons. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is demons galore. Ah uh, yes, the Mario Plus Rabbit Sparks of Hope. Oh, um, we even got that on Thursday. No Friday. Yeah, that's right. That could have Ubisoft, but at the end of the day... Well, it's for Nintendo, yeah. Yeah. Um, it looked interesting for me because I did play the first game. I would say, you know, I know you don't have it, but I would, like, if any chance you ever just see, if you ever get the chance to play it, I would play it, but, you know, it's up to you guys. Another Mario Party Superstars, if you're a Mario Party maniac, why, why, oh... Fucking the Wario game? Did you guys remember playing the Wario games before? Oh, man. Oh, shit. Was... I wasn't much of a Mario fan. What, man? Those, those mini games were fun, though. Oh, man. I remember the Wii Mario games. Man, those shits were fun. I uh, tend to block the Wii out of my mind. <laughs> I tend to block the Wii out of my mind. What? How can you say that? That was a monstrosity. The Wii U was a monstrosity, but the original Wii? No. Come on. I have some good memories for the original Wii. For the billionth time that they keep fucking announcing Monster Hunter Stories 2, I swear to God, they have talked about this game so much that you kind of get sick about hearing it before it comes out. They've talked about that game so much. Yeah, they're bringing Life of Strange Day to the Nintendo uh, platform. Mario Golf, if you're a golf person... Uh, the return of Super Monkey Ball. I've known about it. I just did not give a shit about it. No More Heroes 3. Uh, Fatal Frame. Fatal Frame is a very, very beloved franchise. It's the one where, I don't know if you've ever seen First of All, like where you t- use a camera to capture ghosts, defeat them and shit. Used to be one of the scariest games franchise for a while back. I kind of briefly remember. Cruising Blast, which honestly looks like one of those arcade games, <laughs> driving games. <laughs> and look that interesting. John's Dance 2022. Yeah, let's get that. They also put Catcraft for Switch, the Tony Hawk game for Switch, Warm Rumble. Who we'll gives a shit about that? And then the most anticipated one, Breath of the Wild 2 for Zelda. That one's the one that, like, just. Stole the show. It stole everything, yes. Not just the show, everything. It was the most anticipated game for the entire E3 from a, a bunch of polls. <clears throat> even more than Halo, even more than Battlefield, that game, <coughs> we don't even need to get into that, just how big it was. So, what was next after Nintendo? Nothing, I think. Yeah, Nintendo was the last of it. Yeah. No, there was something after Nintendo. 
What? I just can't. It, oh, I just can't remember. There was the Nintendo Treehouse, the three hour stream of them showing off every game. Then after that, oh, Marcus Bondi. But they only Bondi only did like one fucking game. Talk about show. Okay, we're done. Whew. Yeah. Then after that, uh, Xbox did their showcase preview, going in depth dive to all their trailers with developers. But really, you can watch that on your own. Yeah. What about uh, 